All right, guys. Hello, and welcome to another tip of the week. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about stacking and pulling, uh, specifically stacking and pulling at the same time. Um, as you guys know, I'm just doing this so it becomes obvious. If you place a ward in any of this area, the cam will not spawn slash be able to stack, etc. So, if, for example, you pull the creeps and they attack your creep if outside of the circle, aka above, at the same time it will stack. So let's try to let's try to do that. Uh, right, you pull the wave. Now they attack each other, and as they run back, you want them to come back to you. So you're gonna attack them again. And now they're attacking outside of the creep spawn, meaning at the third minute mark, it will stack again. So basically, you do a double pull with a single camp. At the same time, if you know the timing, you can pull the hard camp. Over. Uh, usually I do this with like 800 HP left, so now they have a combined, but it has to be a full creep wave, so it's, they're missing an archer. So I would say like 600 HP, like now I can pull this creep camp over, and I want to kill this creep when they're close by, and I can pull this wave over to the hard camp at the same time. So now I'm with this one little creep wave, I'll be able to kill a double stack here, and a normal hard camp over here as well. And also this is gonna respawn even for the next minute again. So you get a lot higher value out of it if you actually perform it this way. So now you have like one creep surviving, yeah whatever. But even if you pull it like this, if your lane is up here, the creep won't care. Cause it's just gonna run to the tower instead of running this way back to the wave. So you don't even lose lane control unless your wave is up there. And even if it's just one little creep that survives. So keep in mind, you want to pull this camp up to your wave. As they run back to the creep camp, you want to attack them so that they run back and you want them to attack your own creep wave outside of this circle. It's very easy to execute, it just takes some practice and good timing. And then remember, once you do that, the creeps will spawn here, but you will most likely have to attack them so they come over to the upper part. If you want to pull the hard camp on top of all of that, if, if your entire creep wave is still alive, you should wait around 800 HP. If it's only 3 melees, you want to pull when there's about 600 HP left on these neutral creeps. Um, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this tip. Make sure you try this in practice mode, practice it a bit. It's all about timing, it's not much about skill, it's only knowing exactly when to pull and when to attack. That's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot.